two, one. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toast, and today we are back with some Pokemon TCG, man. All right, so let's get going. Let's go into a rank match. Let's play. So funny story. I've been playing for what, maybe 40 minutes. I've been recording, and uh, yeah, let's just say that I recorded for nothing because basically. The recording never recorded <laughs> so yeah uh, you guys missed uh, basically three wins but whatever we're gonna go back we're gonna do one more because basically the other ones don't count because they never happen right no videos no proof of doing it so uh, we're playing with the Charizard EX deck and uh, let's get going hopefully this is recording correctly right and obviously after playing uh, for 40 minutes, I am not getting the hand that I was supposed to get in the last three match, right? So we're gonna start with a Radiant Charizard, because basically that's all I could pull, play. And uh, look at this guy right away, man. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hands. Alright, good. Thank you very much, buddy. So this guy has more energy now. That's gonna be fun. What is this? this Hoopa X 50 more energy to all your opponent's Pokemon oof this is scary all right so let's go with this we're gonna go with this actually no, actually let's go with this I like to play Pidgey uh, I will I need to think let's put one fire uh... Oh, let's go on uh, Charmander here, and we're gonna end our turn. There's basically nothing we can do here, but I will try to do something out of nothing. Obviously, you guys cannot see my price cards, uh, but you can you can kind of see right here that I still have uh, six. I could make my camera a little bit smaller, or we could just do... Wait, wait. Look at this, we're just gonna move Toasty around and go here. How's that? Is that better? That looks pretty weird. Because <laughs> I've been always on the left, and now I'm on the right. What is this guy doing? Alright, he's picking up a Pokemon, he's gonna put it on his bench. Or actually in his hand, right? Yeah, on the bench. So we have no possible way of destroying this guy right now. And I am saying destroy, because I'm not going to say kill. Somehow it sounds a little bit better. Alright buddy, show me what you got. Select a card from your deck whenever you want. Obviously the good thing of playing Charizard uh, deck is you, you're in no rush to play that Charizard. Prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, really, thank you. So basically, like I said, yeah, Charizard EX, you don't care if you play behind. Because technically, you want Charizard to come into play and do a, a lot more damage. So you guys have six cards right here for those who don't play the game. You have six cards right here. And technically, your opponent, the more cards he takes, uh, more damage Charizard will do. So let's say I put Charizard into play and this guy already took three cards. Charizard has an attack of 180 and basically will do 30 plus damage or 30 extra damage for every price card that he took. This guy has a lot of shiny cards, man. It's nice, but uh, let's see what he can do with that deck. Because that's one thing I learned from playing is... You guys can see all the shiny cards and everything, just don't freak out, because sometimes it doesn't mean much. I'm surprised he, he's probably going to get this guy back from uh, the graveyard eventually. And Charizard, the good thing about Charizard, guys, uh, he is basically uh, dark, so he doesn't take damage from water, which is great. Now we're going to do this, we're going to do Quick Search. Which allows you to go get Pokemons. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Charmeleon here. 
just in case it decides to, you know, pull a card and uh, it makes me draw cards or something like that, discard my hand. I do not want to discard Charizard. Uh, I will evolve this guy. We're gonna draw five more cards. Well, up to five cards, obviously. Boss's order could be nice, but we're gonna play Pidgey. I will put a fire energy here. That's a beautiful thing, guys. By the way, these symbols right here means you can attach any energy to that Pokemon. And we're gonna end our turn. Because I do intend, intend on putting Charizard real soon. And next, another 100 HP, man. 310. This is pretty solid. But let's see what we can do. And that's the beautiful thing, guys, about the abilities right here. Being uh, on the bench. Sorry about that. You're basically able to use the abilities on bench. Which is really cool. Let's see what this guy does. Retreat cost of 3. Hmm. We will see. What do I have here? This... I can get up to three. You do you, buddy. You do you. Anytime now. Anytime, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. It's a nice card though. Not gonna lie. This one too is pretty nice. This one is very nice. Superior. Very cool card. Alright, our turn. Uh, do I want this or do I not want this? Uh, well, I will do this first, so we'll, we're gonna get one more card. Technical Time Machine. I don't want to play Char uh, Charizard right now. Uh, let's do a quick search. We're gonna go with this guy here. This would be good to use, but it's gonna require me five energy, which I don't have right now. Uh... I'm gonna put another one here. Do I want to place this guy? I don't want to play this guy. Let's just uh, end our turn. The problem was me picking this card early on, right? Because the retreat cost is three, and basically Radiant Charizard, uh, you want to play when you lost a couple of cards already. So choose two cards to discard. I'll choose this one and this one. That's okay, we got the Super Rod. We're still able to go get cards in our graveyard. Or our discarded pile. If it's better like this. Alright, so now he's putting this guy. What's that? Put a Pokemon or a basic energy card? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Do your thing, buddy. Good. Well, next turn is gonna hit for 140, most probably. Roll arrow. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's draw another card. Charmander. All right. Charmander. 
I would so move this guy from there. I'm just waiting for him to die. As sad as it sounds, I'm just waiting for him to die. Uh, but I am gonna... Maybe put another energy here. Should I go quick quick search? Let's do a quick search. So we got another Charmander. Do I... Hmm. I'm gonna get this. Because I'll be able to switch my Pokemon. Because this guy on the field right now is not very useful. And him, he's not going to do enough damage right now. So, we're just going to, you know, end our turn. Ah, okay, perfect. So, he's going to kill him. Demolish. That's perfect, my friend. You do you, buddy. Do I have a rare candy in here? Yes, I do. Uh, he does what? 140? Should I go with this guy? He's gonna do 210, which is not enough. Mm. Uh, let's go with Pajot here. Fire energy, very good. They have a lot of HP, these guys. What's the retreat cost in? One. Retreat cost is two. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put this guy here. Because I want to start doing some damage to this guy. We're going to pick another card. That's not bad. That's not bad. There you go. Yeah, yeah, even though we can attach an energy, it doesn't matter. So 120. We're missing 150 of damage. And this guy's dead. Maybe it wasn't the best, the best move. But knowing that this guy is going to come on and do 210 damage, I can basically almost, you know, kill these guys. And the next good thing is, if he does kill this guy, it's pretty good for me. Because he's going to take two more cards. Because whenever you guys kill or destroy an EX character, uh, you basically choose two cards, right? So if he kills Pidgeot here, he's going to be down to three. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to be doing uh, 270 damage. So I'm almost going to be able to one-shot everything that's here. That's a beautiful basic energy, buddy. And this guy too. The more technically price cards that your uh, opponent takes, the less energy this costs, right? So already this, instead of costing 5 energy, is going to be costing me 4. Which is pretty good. Okay, so he's gonna move a basic energy. Alright, so he's putting this guy back onto play. That's fine, buddy. That don't worry me. Ooh, whenever any player uh, attaches an energy card to their basic Pokemon, non. Put two damage counter on that Pokemon. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I could play the Charmander and basically get rid of this. Or we're just gonna do a quick search. What should I go for? Five energy left here. Uh, maybe I'll go for another boss's order. We got one. 
I could do... I could do some damage to this guy. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why am I not... I think I'm gonna do this. Yep. Ciao, bye. So basically, we did no damage to this guy. Why? Is it him? Once during your turn, if any Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you may draw three cards. Script is already. No? Alright, what happened there? Okay. Boss's order, so he's gonna put the Charmander here. Oh, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. Basic energy again. 140. Chow by Charmander. Take another prize card, buddy. See, some games can go really, really fast, and some other games can go really, really slow. Especially the last three games that I played literally took me, I, I would be honest, like 10 minutes max. And now we're like, what, 16 minutes in the video? And still nothing's, nothing's happening. Basically fire energy again. Uh, let's go for a quick... Uh, you know what, let's go for this. Let's play a rod. I want Charmander. Uh, I want a basic energy. I want Charmeleon here. Alright, shuffle back that thing in the deck. We're gonna go for... Mm. Quick search. We're gonna put Char Charmander here. And why am I doing no damage? It prevents all damage from attack done to this Pokemon by your opponent. Opponent's Pokemon that have an ability. Ah, oh, that's why. Should I switch him and just put this guy? This guy could be better for now. Or do I want him to kill it? Eh, maybe I'll let him kill him. And... Uh... Oh, this guy's gonna be hard to kill, huh? You know what, we're just gonna do boss's order. We're gonna put this guy back on. There we go. Plus three wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. Hopefully we can pull a rare candy or something like that. Switch. Great. Look at this guy. He's all prepared for everything. Search your deck for two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hands, right? These guys just have a lot of HP. But we'll get through it. Demolish. Goodbye, buddy. That's fine. That's fine. I gotta just hope... I can get a rare candy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, Arvin. I need the rare candy here. Uh, and most probably, oh no, sorry. Uh, so we got item cards. All right, now we're gonna go with this one. So rare candy. Oh, he's gonna do no damage though. Because he has an ability. Well, yeah, it's an ability. Uh, that sucks. So, two on him, and we're gonna put one on him. And I can put another one on him. Is 
Is he gonna do enough? I'm gonna. Be, he's gonna be doing zero, right? And he has an ability to. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. This is not fun. It's the first time that I play against somebody who has a deck like this. Well, obviously I should have kept my boss's order. It would be a lot better now, because I could just... basically switch out the characters and whatever. Now he's gonna be moving damage around. So now he has 30 damage. He only has 300 HP now. It's not done, but if I don't get boss's order, I'm pretty much done here. Demolish. Goodbye, buddy. Alright, can can we get the one card? He's doing a lot of damage now, but not to him. Ah, great. Alright, buddy. Uh, good job. Well, sometimes you just gotta know when to lose. <laughs> Well, that was a nice wasted 22 minutes of your life. I'm kidding, guys. Well, whatever. That was a, This is a very good card. Uh, first time I see it, so kudos to you, Jeremiah. That was a good deck, buddy. But, guys, like always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace!